Let's do a... Oh, there is a Kezu by itself. What the? I guess I just never saw this. Let's do this. Gotta make sure to pack my hot drinks. This fight might go a lot faster because I'm obviously like kind of overgeared for this. <laughs> Let's see what his uh, what his haiku is. Yeah, haiku time exactly. Down the hatch they go, definitely deceased. Wow. Entering a giant cave, shouting, "This is gonna be easy." Everyone in the room looks at me like, "What the f hello?" But yeah, I remember fighting Kezu for the first time and not knowing at all what to get, what I was getting into. And, uh, <laughs> like I was actually kind of scared, because I just was not expecting a hell beast with a mechanical roar and, like, no music. It was really unsettling. It was great. I think everyone got destroyed by Kezu the first time. Yeah, definitely. At least I did. Not only was he scary because of how he looked and how he sounded, but scary because <laughs> I had to be really careful or else he's going to kick my ass. After fighting uh, Kutku in Freedom 1, I was like, this game is bullshit. How do you even play this game? And then I finally got the hang of it, right? And then I fought Kezu. <laughs> Kezu. Let's fucking go. Oh shit. Thanks to Tetranodon, later nerd. Damn, he's hauling ass though. Holy shit. <laughs> I wanted to go to area two. Can I go to area two? Oh yes. Alright, we're gonna fight in area two. <laughs> well, actually he he is better suited in a cave, so maybe that's not a great idea. <laughs> let's let's fight him in area five. And eat. What? Oh, he- come on. What? Oh. oh boy. Somebody please come and hit me. Okay, well, that, that's fine. Let's do Pookie Pookie, Azuros, and Tritana, Trit Tetranodon. Not enough, not enough. The beast growls for more. Anything is game. For a true it's Pookie Pookie. Pookie Pookie. It's the Pookies. Pookie's great. Also, his, his armor looks really cute. <laughs> so that's, you know, an incredible buff to my opinion of him. I kind of panicked because I saw the attack coming. I figured I would go over it, but I wasn't sure. Nice, there we go. Oh, gross. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the pain. I hope you're ready for the pain, because here he comes. Let him go, he's vegan. He's an omnivore. They, they just said he was an omnivore. <laughs> In my opinion, I think... Oh, what the hell? Bruh! Let's fucking go! Oh man, he really did just show up, huh? That's that's fine. Well, I need to turn it on to, to, like, be on the ground. That would be a good thing for me. Also, is this not just, like, sumo wrestlers fighting? Shit. You know what I mean? Because Tetranodon is just a sumo wrestler, and Azuros is kinda... also? Uh oh. Nice. I think I can kill Azuros before Tetranodon gets up, ideally. There he is. This 
motherfucker just tried to clap at me? Uh-oh. I need some of your parts. Uh I'm not I'm not worried. Fence is ready in twenty seconds, well that's good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Fence gang rise up, you know what I'm saying? Uh that's a big rock, dude. What are you gonna do with that? Where, where are you oh, uh oh. Hello? What's your problem, guy? This'll be you, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind him, he's mad. He said stop ignoring me. <laughs> Easy and also peasy. Was I late for the stream? Uh, maybe? I mean, it's still going on, so. I like the beak that this helmet gives my dog. It's cute. So, the orange icon is rapid fire. The green one is I can reload while moving. The feet is I can shoot while moving, which is pretty useful. And the blue one, single fire auto reload. So it's one shot, but it reloads automatically. Yeah, you enjoy this game? Um, yes, very much. How much do I enjoy it? Um, plus they're big and fat and stinky and stupid. And I'm not stinky. Ah, only a couple hits. You're my best pal. What? Oh, what? What? Ah. Oh, I thought he was calling for backup, not dying. Oh, come on. You owe lifesaver. Sadly, might have to go a little early today. No. <laughs> well, if you have to, then I don't want to keep you. So. And obviously, thank you for watching. Magnamalo. Maybe it is a damage threshold. I have earplugs right now because of my cat. I think. I was expecting a tail attack. Oops. What have you got insurance? So insurance is a thing in this game? Yeah. Um, there's feline insurance. Monkey make consecutive backflips. Or monkey flips. Monkey dead. Rock lizard. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> and then I kick him in his face. Haha, <laughs> pranked ya. Pranked ya. Ah. What monster is this again? Isn't this from One Star Village? Oh, god, that was close. <laughs> oh no. Oh, jeez. Dude, your arms are on fire. Let me, let me get that for you, dude. Like, that's, that's, that's pretty bad, right? Like, you should get that... Maybe we should stop fighting so you can remove the fire from your arms, because that seems like it might hurt a little. Yeah, I'm just looking out for you, dude. Okay, now we gotta be rude about it. There, see? No more fire. You just gotta be careful from now on, alright? Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Uh. Come here. This is a nice little thing for you. If you step on it, something fun will happen. You fucking idiot. You you fool. You've fallen for my trap. I can't believe that worked. You know what? Maybe I was a little too mean about this guy at first. Definitely not a two, uh, one star village quest. I think it's maybe like a two, maybe a three star village quest. So. Oh, I, I could capture him if I had traps. Meat. 
sometimes you just gotta. Shit. Ah! I slayed Akinosom with a leap attack. Nice. Also, it could totally be Akinosom, and I'm just pronouncing it wrong, but... And I'm not sure which one sounds less stupid. <laughs> Amazing! Ludroth is cute. Veroth is cute. Kezu is cute. I forgot about that one. Tetra is cute. Volvodon uh, is cute. I love that one. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, wow. 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 God, these armors are crazy. Rathalos, nice. Mizutsune. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, this is epic. Alright, the squad is dripped up. Imagine having a baby Mizutsune. I, I would love that. Can you say something in Spanish? No. These weapon poses are great. I just wish that your character would breathe while doing them. <laughs> I wanted to pick up the thing! <laughs> ah. Oh, look at the mask! Oh. I have to remember how to play. Jeez. Oh, that was a nice sound. It doesn't always do it, of course. That's the one. Man, these jewel lilies really just grow anywhere, don't they? <laughs> People keep talking about, like, you can climb the trees here. And, like, I went up there, but I didn't really look around, I guess. Like, I don't think there's anything up here, right? It's just a it's just tree. It's just tree. Last time I came up here, I didn't really look around, but... I figured there was nothing to look around at. <laughs> Is there something else? Like, I'm not... Like, do I need to go higher? Is that what they meant? Like, up here? Oh. Nice. <laughs> um, but, yeah. You know, when I cut off what she's saying, she's just saying, get your bunny dong. <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about that at all. But obviously that, that takes a lot of time. And you have to get hit a lot. And I know that, you know, I personally, when I'm trying to get better, I don't want to fucking... Like, when I'm in the moment, when I'm, like, having trouble with something, I don't want to hear someone say, like, yeah, just get better at the game. Because that's not helpful. <laughs> Zam... Z Zamite? Zamite? Give me Zam trios. Gonna need some of your parts. I'll even take Zam duos. <laughs> Ashley! Ashley! <laughs> she just woke up! Ashley! Oh, she didn't take, like, any damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, we all make mistakes in the heat of passion, Jimbo. In the zone. I really was. I totally forgot. Oh my god. I was having a great time beating the shit out of it, too. Happens to the best of us? Yeah, I know. Because, you know, I'm the best of us. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>
This is gonna be easy. I mean, I did it. I did it just now. I just, you know, I did it a little bit too much. No. Plug, plug. Let me just chug this monster energy. <clears throat> this is actually death, str death stranding. Oh shit! What is that? Oh, it's a. F oh, that's so cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Like, uh, Bishit Bishitin does that too. I think that's so cool. Them using the environment against us, just the same, the exact same way that we do that to them. And I think that's so cool. Don't slay it this time, I'll try. <laughs> there it is, there it is, okay. No more, no more attacking. See? It's not even that hard if you just pay attention. <laughs> Doesn't your cat tell you? Um, I think so. I mean, I'm not really paying attention to what they're saying all the time. But in the top right, it shows a blue icon. I'm having a sale. We have a winner. We have a winner. Yeah. Ah. Wow. We take those. Ah. Nothing personal. Nothing personnel, kid. From overhead. Let's go. Ah. Oh, it stuns me. Oh no. Oh no. Ashley. <laughs> That seems new. Oh my god, it exploded! Uh... No, what? Hello? What happened? Uh, ah! Holy shit. Oh god. Uh... Alex? Thank you? Holy shit. I think Alex jumped all the way over to me to block that. I think? I'm not really sure what happened. That was crazy. So much happened. Thanks, Mello. Yo, yo, what if we take the Somnicanth away from the water? Then what are you gonna do? Huh, dummy? What's your big plan now, huh? Mr. Swims around all the time and does nothing else with their life? <laughs> oh, I can capture it. You know what? Today, I shall show you mercy. Probably. What? Okay, just, just walk a little closer over here. Look, I, I'm doing this for your sake. No, 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 no. Dumbass. Thank you. <laughs> there. I captured two to make up for the time that I didn't capture the other one. <laughs> no. At least it didn't take my spirit gauge. You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a big scary monster. How did that not count? What is... You know what I mean? Did anyone see that? Is that just me? Ah! Oh, e wait. Wait, 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 wait. You can roll out of that? Or is that just towards the end of the animation? Yeah, you can you can roll out of that. Like halfway through the animation. That's incredible actually. Is all you do fucking eat? Oh. Uh, her eyes were closed. <laughs> Oopsie. I love your wheeze, thank you. You know, I always hop off the dog to cut these down when I don't really need to. God bug? Bitter bug? It's cure go. Alright, Angie, come on. Alright, Angie, come on. No, over here. Over here. What are you doing? Come on. Over here. Over here. Dude. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, but attack me though. Like the me, the one with the sword. Am I not like threatening enough to you? There we go, we take that. Fire move? Yeah, fire move. Or that move. Oh gee, he turns with that, and I forgot. Fights in Rise seem to be a lot more simplistic compared to Freedom Unite. There's a lot more going on. You have a lot more options, but there is a lot more going on. I mean, am I spamming Helmbreaker as much as I can? Yes, because it's very damaging. Am I just basically leveling up my spirit gauge to get there? Yeah, but there's a couple of ways for me to go about that, and of course I have to know how the monster attacks, where the monster's going to attack, stuff like that. Like the special sheath here, when I hit him with- okay, so again, you probably don't know. That special sheath I do, you have to do it after an attack. What most people do is they'll do the stab attack because it's the quickest. You can do that, the special sheath. If you hit an enemy as they hit you with the special that sp spirit attack, it will um, level up your gauge in this game. Not, it doesn't do that in the world, but that's where this move came from. So that's a pretty good way to counter attack, but it also takes really precise timing. Oops, there's also another one where you can do, you can do the regular one. This special attack right there from the special sheath will give you a little buff for a few seconds. It'll increase your spirit gauge gain. If you see my spirit gauge in the top right, it's now blue. And when I use spirit attacks, it goes up like that, see? Very useful. There's also the foresight slash, which again, you can only do out of an attack. So you have to be, you have to attack first, which means if you don't attack soon enough, or if you use an attack that doesn't have enough end frames, then you just can't do the foresight slash. Uh, again, the stab move is pretty good for that because there's a lot of ending frames and it's very fast. So along with all of that, now there's the Helmbreaker, you need to have wire bugs active. You see what I mean? You see? Like, this is just... <laughs> so right now I, I hit him a couple times, I want to get my red gauge back up. I do the special seed which lets me do a faster spirit gauge combo to level it up. Now that I have it up, leveled up, I have to have my weapon out to do the wire bug attack. I do the wire bug attack to bounce off the monster, I have to do it off the monster. After I hit, it only hits a couple times, unfortunately. That was a bad hit. After it hits, I do the, the, the special sheath. Most of the time you do go into the special sheath because that's like your main move, basically, for gaining spirit gauge and going into your other attacks. There's You see, you see what I mean, though? There's just so much going on. <laughs> I just make it look easier? Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to brag, honestly, and I know how that sounds, but um, I have been playing for a while, but yeah. And I, I hope I'm not being rude or anything, I'm just trying to explain like what's going on, because I'm sure a lot of people are probably watching who have only played Freedom Unite, and that's totally fine, and they don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> and I like that, I like the more the more depth to the, to the combat and to the game. And the wire bug movement too has a lot to it. This move here, if you hold it, a or push A while you're in midair, you can do that and dangle for a little bit. You can then dodge out of it. You can only do that once before you use another wire bug, so you can't just keep doing it. Uh, using a wire bug move, if you see in the bottom of the screen, it charges up pretty quickly if I do a wire bug move to move. But if I do a wire bug move to attack, depending on the move, you see how much slower that is. So it's much, it's very. Uh, Risk versus reward, kind of like you have to choose which one you want to use. Do you want to keep one for mobility just in case you get pounced or pinned, for example? Or do you want to just go f focus on using them for damaging because you, you're pretty confident with the monster? You know. In Freedom Unite, it's mostly just like once you learn the fight, for Longsword at least, you get your spirit gauge to max and keep it at max and use the full combo when you can. And that's honestly fine. So the wire bug attack, since it's slower, would be nice as a first attack before the monsters even spotted you. Yeah, but in for Longsword's case, I, I it does much more damage if my uh, spirit gauge is full, if, if it's red, uh, and I need to level up my spirit gauge by doing the spirit combo, yada yada yada. So, anyways, I I just talked a whole lot. Sorry about that. <laughs> he attacks so slow. I I figured he's gonna attack faster. Nice, nice, nice. So I keep uh, I keep doing the counters too too soon. <laughs> That's see that that move is so slow. I I, I keep figuring it's going to be faster. Fortunately, you, again, that's why it's important to have a wire bug. If you get pinned, you can you can get yourself out of it. I think this kills him if this connects. Oh. I think maybe he's at one HP right now. 
but since I had to mount. Yeah, see, he was probably at 1 HP just then. But since I had to mount, it didn't let me kill him yet. That's interesting. Volvedon! Here I come. Tougher than Knuckles. Something, I don't... <laughs> I'd rather flex my knuckles. <laughs> I hope people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Rathalos really do be flying, though, huh? Do you think Valstrax could mess up a Fatalis? It's one of those things, like, you know how, uh... <clears throat> you know how Gormagala snapped Tigrex's neck in the intro cutscene of 4 Ultimate? <laughs> It'd probably be something just like that. Like that- oh my god! Ashley, somebody! Get me out of this fuck- why did he spam, like, four paralyzed balls in a row? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ouch. Ouch. Wrong one. Alex. Whoa, he can go around that. Wow. Anti-monster mine, let's go. Yeah, see how I'm not using the Helm Breaker right now because I don't have Red Gauge? Honestly, there's not really any point in using Helm Breaker unless you're at the Red Gauge. Did the Rathalos just get taken down by a Volvodon? I think so. And like that, mistakes were made, and Volvodon is probably well aware of that right now. He, you missed! You dumbass! Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yoinky, yoinky, yoinky. One bad gloop, and she do it a yoinky. That's called a splurgy, something, 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 and I buy me a smoothie. Poopy. Stinky poopies. Come on. Oh, Easy. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Vitalis can incinerate anything with his fire. Yeah, right. I really enjoyed him melting walls and stuff in the world. It was really cool, honestly. I mean, is the fight really fucking annoying and very, very difficult? Yes. But the effects are cool. Waiting for PC version? Yeah. That's, that was me when World came out. Literally, that was me. Sucks. Goss Harag. I haven't fought him yet. Okay, so all these are new, basically, for me. Alright, Goss Harag. Let's go. Harag. Lagombi, but cooler. Wow. That's... Wow. <laughs> I'm taking you down! Who am I taking down? Hey, was that a bear over there? That's cool. I didn't know there was bears in this game. This is just a giant Azuros. What happened? What happened? Okay. Okay, well, he does that. Alright. Damn, this thing is... Azurostrom? I wonder if he does that after charging every time. I like his face. It reminds me of the... I guess Japanese, like, demon masks or something like that, right? His head looks cool. There we go. There we go. So he's red when he's enraged. Okay. Okay. He's got an ice laser. Good to know. Good. Pretty important for me to know. Is this ice sword here? It sure is. This is basically like Lavinus, by the way, and I love it. This is such a cool design. God, all the monsters in Rise, the new ones. Well, the old ones too, obviously. Whoa, shit. They're just so cool. Oh shit!
Hope you got insurance for that armor yours. That's new. That's a familiar uh, roar. That was from Azuras, I think. The same animation. Hmm. You know what I haven't had in a long time is fish tacos. <gasps> Take Rex! What's good, my dude? Look out for the ice. It's it's cold. I don't have a I don't have a joke for this. It's just cold. Dude, Tigrex is music. <gasps> oh. Okay, this is epic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, look, Umbi's here. You heard y'all were talking shit. Yo, see? Y'all said that he was a better Lagombi. Look at look how you made Lagombi feel. You know what I mean? You can't just You gotta understand your actions, your words have consequences. <laughs> now we gotta show that Lagombi is actually just a better Goss Harag. <laughs> Let's go. New kid on the block versus the old veteran. What's that? You got an ice arm? Sorry about that, you should get that looked at. Also, I can slide on my fucking belly, so who's the winner here? Uh oh, oops. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. See? Easy. <laughs> Two blades, yeah, right? He's using dual blades, he really was! Look at that slide though! Look at the slide! <laughs> get him, Lagombi. Okay, well, you. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Lagombi. Have a good one. Keep it real. Wow, that was fast. The second hit will stick. And that was not close enough. It's fine. What do you mean this one's gonna hit hard? Oh. That's what you mean. Oh. Um. Buddy, relax. See if I can get one of these. Never mind. Oh fuck! <laughs> My lights have been punched out. All right, come at me. There we go. That's the one. There we go. That's the one. <laughs> <sighs> Octopus monster win. Dead ass. If they put Nakarkos in this game, I will. Alright, let's do Tigrex. This should be fun and not at all a disaster, right? Absolute power, let's go! <laughs> wow. Roar. They call him an ancient tyrant. They give you flash bombs. Oh my god. A bit of spider. My man's out here just chilling though, and I'm gonna come over and ruin his day. Again, am I the bad guy? Like... Alright, buddy, roar at me. What's this? Oh, it's bones. Cool. So anyways... I want to level up my gauge first, and then I'll mount him. Wink, wink. Wink, wonk. That's way too early. Oh shit, that was like right at the end, I think. Nice. There it is. Okay. I'm mounting the Tegrex. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Mm, his, his head really do kind of be just flinging all over the place, though, isn't it? I wish he was doing like the charge with his jaws, you know what I mean? Like he always does. He's running. Or he's attacking the baggy. What did great baggy ever do to you? I wonder if if the baggy uh if the baggy like attack will put him to sleep. That'd be really interesting.
Yo! It does put him to sleep! That's really cool, honestly. That sucks that I'm not, like, using a greatsword or something. <laughs> ah, well. Just have to do a, a helm breaker. And I fucking miss. Okay. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Uh... Fuck. Oh shit, Goss, what's good? Bruh. Oh, he didn't land on the fucking mine. God damn it. <laughs> Can I do the... Oh. Oh, I forgot I can do that! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> yeah, I knew he was running. Oh, he hit the mine! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, it missed! Shit. That would have been so cool. Don't run. Now that you're angry, wouldn't you like to stay and fight? Now he's running. No! Oh, well. Now to see how cancerous uh, Diablos is in Rise. Uh, I don't know. Probably not too bad, maybe. Just a Diablos. I mean, I don't want to, like, you know, say just a Diablos, but... Also, I just realized that I just did a Yoshi thing by, <laughs> by jumping off a cliff with my dog and then jumping off of the dog. That's a Yoshi moment. Mario moment. Did you just pull a Yoshi? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> Good thing there's no fall damage, or I'd feel horrible. Okay. What was that hitbox? Oh shit, rip. It sprung the trap. Oh, I think the the writing theme is the same for every monster, which is a big like missed opportunity. But it interrupted the Sandy Plains theme. This is inexcusable. I cannot believe this. <laughs> oh, hey Tigrex, what's going on? Let's go over here. This is a nice place. There's no sand here. I honestly love the monster riding mechanic because if you're riding a Kezu, you can take him out of a cave, which is where he's you know potentially strongest. If you're fighting a D Diablos, just take him out of the sandy area, right? Like, I love it. Shit. <laughs> I should heal. That would be a great idea. Rip. Yo, we kind of do be at 53 viewers right now, though. That was a bit early. The counter timing is extremely tight, by the way. If, like, if if you're not sure, if it look, if I'm making it look too easy, like, I don't. Again, I don't want to brag or say that I'm like really good or anything like that. Um, but a lot of this stuff is kind of more advanced that I'm doing. So if the game looks easy and you think it's bullshit because the game is getting easier, just consider that I'm not new at this game. <laughs> Oof. And there is a lot of potential punishing that the monster can do to me. It's just now the, the script has flipped a little bit and we can do the same, which is good. I think that's good. Plus, I'm fighting monsters that I know already. Uh, when I fight new monsters, I have more trouble with them. See, like, I know Zenogre already, <laughs> you know what I mean? Perfect, 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 perfect! Let's go! <laughs> Mounting time. He dropped a shiny, so I'm just gonna stay here. I wonder if I can kill him before he charges up, like before. <laughs> I probably will kill him before he charges up, since this is a multi-monster fight. Wow, he really just threw that out there, didn't he? Holy shit, that was really close. You may break me, but I'll just come back for more. Okay, Ashley. Chill out. 
Like, actually chill out. Dude, your tail's on fire, dude. I'm gonna take care of that. Is this gonna hit? Sure is. Oops. Nice. God, I love how Mizutsune looks. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit. Really slippery, though. Whew, that was close. I thought I'd go over it. Mounting time. And Toby's right here. Why not? Or is he? Where is he? Up there? Can I climb up here? <gasps> Let's go. That would have been for my fellow hunters. Oh shit. Nope. No time. Whoops. Oh shit. Ah, come on. Toby moves so much. Toby Maguire. Toblerone McDoblerone. You know what? No! Alex. 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 And shit, if they, if they made Frontier playable, they could just, you know, everyone who says, like, oh no, these games are too easy, just point them towards Frontier. And then they'll say, like, oh, I don't like the, the huge AoE attacks, and it's like, well, that makes it harder. If the only thing you care about is difficulty, then shouldn't you like Frontier? Shouldn't you like Fatalis from World? Shouldn't you like Elytreon from World, right? If difficulty is the only thing that matters. And I don't want to be petty or anything, but I think difficulty is important to a point. Yo, Wyvern Tears. What the fuck happened here? You okay, Tigrex? Are we good, dude? He's just crying out here in this cave by himself. Don't worry, buddy. I'm here now. If you stay in the special seat for too long, your character will just sheathe their weapon. And you can't do the counter move. Let's go. <laughs> I don't like how the mounting music replaces the monster music. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm jamming here. Don't, don't ruin my vibe, dude. <laughs> I don't think my character actually considers that maybe monsters don't know what the hell insurance is. Maybe. What? Oh. There's a lot of thought that goes into what's going on, even though maybe it doesn't look like it all the time. 69. Nice. Oh, buddy. That was lucky. Uh oh. Good night, sweet prince. Nande Korea da te I don't know what that means. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. He's crying because his brute wife isn't in Rise yet. Yeah. Would you fuck off? Holy shit. I'm out here trying to carve my boy. How much health does this thing have? God. Is there any monster who understand people in this game? Maybe. I mean, again, I'm sure they could understand some words. Like, these, you could you could say that the felines are monsters and the canines are monsters, technically. But, you know, the older the monster is, the more interaction the monster has had with humans, probably the more likely that it understands. Like, you know what would be cool? Is if, like, when you, when you fought Fatalis and someone said, Use the Dragonator or something, then Fatalis would understand what they said because, like, they've fought humans before and they under they know what the word Dragonator means. That'd be really cool. And, you know, they, like, avoided the Dragonator. Roar at me. Do it, bitch. You won't. You fucked up. You fucked up now. Now you fucked up. Flash bomb, go burr. Don't. No. Oh. I don't want to be down here. Can I get a fog for that, for that roar? No! <laughs> hit me. You fucked up. Why would you do that? Why would you actually hit me? Why would you do what your enemy tells you? 
Like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? No offense, but... Uh... Really? Anjaneth? Who, who even asked? Because it sure wasn't me. Oh, shit! Nice, guys. Good job. Oh, Ange... Would you just... Would you just... Okay, Anjanath, you can leave now. Thank you. Rude ass. Man, this is why Anjanath isn't invited to parties. And I don't want to be mean, dude, but, like, that's why. That's a you thing. You can change that. No! Hold on. I'm probably doing this, like, in a more difficult way than it needs to be. Oh, is Dr. Phil here? Hey, Dr. Phil, how's it going? Yeah, there's definitely some high rank monsters that are ex exclusive, like, you know, Naj or not Najarala. Uh, what's it called? The spider one? God, I, I know this monster because I would farm it for the charge blade. Nursilla, thank you. That's the one. <laughs> it's like you're watching my journey. Yeah, that, that was the idea for sure. A oh, whoa. You know, I gave you the choice to not do that. You know, I gave you the choice to not do that. Why? Oh, okay, sure. Zanugar has appeared. God Eaters, alert! A Zenogre has entered the area. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Is he attacking with his body or his mouth, you know? Pick one. Okay, let's get the... Get that bread, please. There we go. Bread gauge. Perfect. Great stagger. Oh my fucking god. I'm gaming. I'm gaming everyone. I need to sharpen though, that's for sure. I don't have enough to gauge! Ah! Oh, fuck! Jesus. Oh shit. That was very lucky. I don't know what I hit. <laughs> you know in the other games, that move- What? just happened. Hello? <laughs> can I get a refund? The thing about Blast is that they added new, like, you can give monsters Fire Blight, Thunder Blight, Ice Blight, and Water Blight now, and they all have their own uses. So there are uses beyond just damage for using elemental damage. And that is a good way to buff them. I don't know if it'll be enough. Water Blight is quite good, because I think it's the same as, like, Tenderizing, except it applies to the whole monster. And Thunderblight's nice because you can get, um, because you can get stuns with weapons that are not hammers or hunting horn, basically. Or bow guns, I guess. Uh, so those are great. Fire Blight deals damage over time and makes them easier to scare. And Ice Blight, I'm, I don't, I don't know, actually. I don't think I've done that yet. In the case of using Blast, it's a opportunity cost of not using another element or status type. So whether or not that's worth it to you is the most important factor. Ouch. No, he's doing the thing. No, I fucking missed. I missed again. I almost never miss. This is an outrage. That was way too late. Whoops. Wait, how did that not count? How is Wirebugs feel like Genshin? Uh... Does Genshin have a grappling hook that you can use everywhere? Um, it's very good. Um, now that I've gotten used to using wire bugs, they're very fun to use. I don't agree with that hitbox, but okay. Damn it. Why does that not count? What the fuck? <laughs> Amazing. 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 <laughs> you can capture him. For now. 
Why do people think 69 is funny? I don't think anyone thinks it's funny. I think the idea of thinking that it's funny is funny, though. If that makes sense. It's a type of humor that is layered like that. It's heavily steeped in irony, and... Before I got more into memes and meme culture, I didn't understand it. And I, I just couldn't see it, but now it's just... You're laughing at the absurdity, more so than there actually being any joke at all. It's like, you know, abstract art? It's, it's literally that. You know how a lot of people don't get abstract art, myself kind of included? Um, the, I think the concept of abstract art is for arts, artists and art enthusiasts who have already seen a lot of things. And at, this, at a certain point, you know, you see a picture of a lake drawn like hundreds of times. It's not going to be any different the hundredth time that you see someone draw a lake, you know what I mean? Um, so you just need something more, and in some cases that something more becomes surreal, becomes abstract, just becomes just somebody splattering paint on a wall. You start to see more value in things that are much more different from the norm, because you're so used to the norm, right? And this, of course, I'm relating to humor. Uh, but it, it's the same thing with music. Um, you know, math rock, you know, noise, uh, you know, even hard style, just very noisy music. Uh, once you listen to enough music, you know, you hear a guitar solo the, for the hundredth time, right? It's not going to be really much different. Um, sometimes you just need something that's just so far from what you're so used to, to break up the monotony, honestly. And uh, I totally get that now. But anyways, yeah, 69 isn't funny. <laughs> but saying 69 nice. It's not really funny either. It's just a it's just a thing, you know. It's just it's more so a um, a cultural thing. You know what I mean? It's just that thing that you do. It's like when you say 420, it's like ha, it's the weed number. You know what I mean? 69 is ha, it's the it's the sex number. Do I listen to hard style? God no. <laughs> the whole comparison to abstract music or abstract art. Personally, um. I was trying to think, because I was listening to, to some really abrasive stuff, and I still do, I think it's great. Just like, more noise than sound, than music, really, and I'm, I'm just thinking like, I can't share this with anyone, they're just gonna be like, this isn't fucking music, and I was like, why do I like it? <laughs> Came for the hunt, stayed for the philosophical discussion of humor and art, exactly. That's, uh, that's me. <laughs> basically, the takeaway is that there's value in basically everything, uh, and art is everywhere. You can't escape from art, and so embracing that is... It leads to a better life. Yeah, I, I used to not listen to scream, like music with screaming in it at all. You know, years later, I started listening to, to more screaming music, and uh, I also used to never listen to dubstep, and then eventually one day I found some that I actually liked, and I listened to more electronic music from there. don't really listen to dubstep anymore, but, you know, there's some songs. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Arjuros is the apex monster leading the assault. Okay. I feel like it would have been better if they didn't tell me it was an Arjuros. Not to say that he can't kick my ass, because I'm sure he probably will. I'm having a sale. I'm having a sale. Oh, he's playing it with the music. Wow, that's awesome. It's also adorable. That's the doctor, by the way. The one who's usually lazing around. Anyways, okay. Let's see, can we get up here? No! This game just doesn't give us any freedom. Unite. Well, that is gonna be it. I like this music a lot. I think this is the one from maybe Generations. Or whatever, from uh... Or maybe not just Generations, you, you know what I mean. It's, it's the one for like the buddy area, I believe. Alrighty, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.